the cap for the Phillies over the straight mile. And one into stride over on the far side was Golden Spice. Uh, quite prominent as well as Morgan Ferry. Augmentarians up there and racing more prominent down the centre now is Aunt Bethany. These are then followed by present moment in the red and white. More towards the stand side and the blue and white is Minwa. Minwa just about in front now from Aunt Bethany and with those is Golden Mayflower. Another one to show prominent Espresso and behind Espresso over on that far side group is King's Joy. They've then been followed through by Love Interest and Gate Crasher Girl racing in the midfield in with Tamarama, discretion covered up two thirds of the way back through the field. More towards the near side, right at the back is Zambag. Also, Lullaby with plenty more in front of behind, and Heredia is just about third from last at the moment. They continue up the home straight then towards the final three furlongs, and just about with the lead is Golden Mayflower, but joined by Golden Spice. Right in behind is No Nay Nikki. Still going okay is Morgan Ferry, then Augmentarium, who's trying to work into contention as well as they race now down towards. The final furlong and a half, and it's wide open up right over on the far side. Fresh Hope is challenging over there. Still handy down the centre, Golden Mayflower, and bursting through is Cronell. Mistral is also getting there. Sagania is coming up with the run. Over on the far side, Fresh Hope, near side Sagania, together with Heredia, who's made rapid headway, and Heredia has now hit the front. Zambak's also running off to the back. Close up behind is Cronell, and then Sagania. It's Heredia. She's going to remain unbeaten. Wins a Sandringham. Heredia, the winner from Zambak and Cronell. Then Sagamia, Mashara, and these are then followed by Fresh Hope, and behind Fresh Hope then came on the inside Persist, and further back to King's Joy. Well, goodness me, Heredia wins for Richard Annan and Sean Levy, four from four. Quite an interesting race, and the head-on might be informative, but what did you make of that, Kevin? I think we're going to be dealing with the stewards again, Alex, uh, and this got a little bit messy late on. Heredia started going to her left, and... Um, but now we won't rejudge. I want to see the head on, etc. But Heredia has come from quite a long way back, I closer. I saw a horse clip heels in the field before any of that. Actually, I think um, uh, the horse in yellow here did uh, clipped heels. I'm sure we'd have to have a look at that again. But Heredia has burst through. It looked all over at this point, but here comes the Hamdan and Maktoum Shadwell colours absolutely flying home. Sean Levy whipping the right hand. Philly starts to edge. He puts his two hands back on the reins. We'll want to see the head on. It certainly looks like the winners come across. There has been some element of interference. Will the stewards deem it significant enough to change this result? We'll be more informed after we see this head on. First yeah, impression was the interference may not have been significant enough to warrant a reversal given the winning distance was approximately a length. Mm. But we'll wait and see. Sean changes his stick into his right hand now. His mount immediately goes Ooh, to our left. Yeah. Ooh, that didn't look quite so good. He, he, in fairness to Sean, he put his two hands back in the reins. He made he made an effort to correct. His filly kept going. You see, it was just after he changed his whip and used it. Now he changed the whip, and it's as soon as he uses it, his filly starts to go left. In fairness to him, he identifies that. He hasn't quite got his two hands back in the reins. Now he does. Is he applying enough, enough pressure in that right rein? Maybe not. I think his priorities might have been continuing to go forward very close to the line. Look, there has been interference. Jim Crowley has suffered. I'm sure he'll go into the stewards and say it cost him the race. But, as we saw um, yesterday, the way these rules are enforced in this country, the stewards will generate... There we go. Bing bong. First certainty to say landed. The stewards have to be sure on the, well, on the balance of probabilities that the second, the sufferer, would have finished in front of the interferer without the interference. Will they be able to make that conclusion? It it would be a big call and the way these things tend to go Alex we don't tend to see many big calls especially when the winning distance is more like a length when it's noses short heads and heads and necks it's a little bit easier for the stewards to make a punchy call so I, I would I haven't seen the market for this but I would expect Heredia is a short price to keep this race what do you think Fred yeah, look, he's obviously come off his line. The second he pulled a stick through uh, into his right hand, the Philly start and drifting under uh, to, to, the, to his left, and therefore he's coming into Jim Crow. He's right here, right now, and it did cost him momentum. Did it cost him enough, Kevin? to get demoted. Well, look, the betting markets are always an excellent guide on this. You know, the, these guys are professionals on the betting exchanges, betting on these outcomes all the time. And I'm led to believe Heredia is trading a very short price to keep this race in the region of 1 to 10, maybe even slightly shorter. Now, the important thing about this, this bit of riding is that 
Sean Levy's horse drifted itself to that left side. He didn't make that horse go left. She just had a good look around it. Obviously, you got to remember, the exit is on the left there just before that finishing line. So maybe she had a look at that, and that's probably the reason why she went over to that way. And look, as we mentioned yesterday, there's two completely separate factors here. The stewards are evaluating whether the result uh, needs to be amended or left alone. And then the second issue is whether there was a riding offence, and if there was, what punishment needs to be dished out. I don't think they'll reverse this, would be my view. I think the winning distance is such that it would be very difficult to say with, with some degree of certainty that the second would have won with an interrupted passage. Has Sean Levy committed a riding offence? I'm not so sure, to be honest. You know, she's responded to his right hand um, whip strike, but in fairness to him, he's got his two hands back in the reins. Maybe he could have used more pressure with his right hand to try and correct her. That's the only fault you'd potentially pick at it. But, you know, again, the stewards are so lax in the way they enforce these rules. I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe warn him to ride with more care in future and leave him out to enjoy his champagne. <laughs> well, it would be interesting to see. I'm sure there was a little bit of an incident at the very first angle we saw, which we might revisit at some point for, uh, further down the line, because I definitely saw a clipped heel, which um, was before much before.